Hi, I'm Amanda Beck with Lead Blender here at Virginia Distillery Company. Today I'll be walking you through some tasting notes and insights on two of my favorite whiskeys. Up first is our flagship Courage and Conviction American Single Malt, followed by a more unique expression, our Courage and Conviction Sherry Cask Single Malt. So first up, our flagship release, which came out in the spring of 2020. I love the Courage and Conviction line because as an American single malt, we get to play around with some really unique casks. So malted barley, everything is distilled, aged, and bottled on site. But for the flagship release, we use three different cask types to age our whiskey. We use bourbon barrels that come from Kentucky, mostly Brown Foreman distilleries. And you get a lot of nice soft vanillins, toasted oak, barrel spice, a little bit of orange oil is coming through and that sort of forms a foundation for our single malt. From there, we use cuvee wine casks. These come from Spain, Portugal. They held a premium European red wine blend. And after the wine is taken out, we shave, toast, and char the staves before moving our whiskey in. And this contributes some beautiful red fruit notes like raspberry, cherry, I get blood orange, ginger spice. I always get chocolate in some form from these casks. And then we use sherry casks. These are the largest barrels we age our single malt in. These are very unique and they bring some gorgeous tropical fruit notes, decadence, and of course that spice that I love. It's bottled at 92 proof, which means if you want to add a drop or two of water, you can. I love to give this whiskey time to open up to develop all those flavors. It shows well after an hour or two, even more than the very beginning. Oh, I could sit with that all day. However, up next is our sherry cask aged American single malt. And this is very unique because a lot of single malts finish in sherry casks, but aging is a little bit different. And we use three different barrels to age, Vino, Oloroso, and Pedro Jimenez sherry. So Vino is pretty unique. It's something that you hear a lot to make sherry, of course. Vino Palomino is the number one grape in sherry production but it's rare to get those casks, but they contribute some gorgeous tropical fruit notes, which I really love. Oloroso is a little nuttier, so that candied hazelnut note that I always detect in our single malt comes right through from those casks. And then the PX casks, or Pedro Jimenez, they're the more decadent, sweet, fruit-forward ones. I'm getting a lot of walnut from there as well. Mm. Also bottled at 92 proof. It has some nice cocoa coming through as well. I love this one. Our first batch of our line extensions was under the name of Nancy Fraley. We have different names to kind of recognize people who've inspired us, shown courage and conviction in their lives. And this batch won quite a few awards from us already. We're working on future batches, so I'm excited to see the next ones that roll out. To find out more about what we're working on, you can follow us at badistillery.com or any social like Instagram, Facebook, we're under the handle of Distillery. Cheers.